learners welcome to the DED program I am Manju Jain former professor and head NCERT today I am going to discuss a topic challenges involved in transacting EVS at the primary stage the focus of the present session is objectives of EVS teaching learning why do practitioner face challenges in EVS classrooms what are the major challenges in transacting EVS? How to address the challenges to meet the EVS objectives? Role of the EVS practitioners in EVS classroom? The objectives of EVS learning? The first and foremost important objective of EVS learning is to train children to locate and comprehend relationship between the natural, social and cultural environment to develop an understanding based on observation and illustration drawn from life experiences and physical, biological and social and cultural aspect of life rather than abstraction of ideas in the classroom it means the ideas more in the form of concrete rather than in the abstraction to create cognitive capacity and resourcefulness to make the child curious about social phenomenon sharing with the family and moving to the wider spaces to nurture the curiosity and creativity of the child particularly in relation to natural environment. It means the EVS learning emphasize more on the divergent and the creative aspect of child's learning to develop an awareness about the environmental issues. It means the major expectation of EVS learning is related to all aspects of child learning in terms of learning about the environment, learning through the environment, learning of the environment and finally learning for the environment. The last objective of EVS learning to engage the child in exploratory and hands-on activities to acquire basic cognitive and the psychomotor skill through observation, classification and many more skills related to age appropriate learning at the particular stage. So in a sense the broader expectation of EVS learning is fourfold if we can see the objectives of EVS learning. Number one learning about the environment it means the all aspects maybe the social cultural and the environmental related to the EVS learning is the first and foremost expectation second thing is learning of the environment it means the components and the objects and the what are the things available in the environment is if the child has the understanding the, it fulfills the need of this subject. Learning through the environment, it gives the opportunity to the learner to use environment as a learning resource, environment as the learning material. And the last objective is learning for the environment. It means develop the sensitivity towards the environment. Uh, and develop the concern for protection of the environment. Why do practitioners face challenges in EVS classroom? If we see the picture of the nature of this subject, we can see the first challenge related to the EVS learning is it is interdisciplinary and integrated in nature. Integrated in nature means it's a Content is related to natural, social and the environmental uh, related uh, content. The multicultural dimension of the diverse classroom is another big challenge for the teacher because she has to address the all needs of the children 
related to the rural, urban and other diverse background of the children. Linkages of EVS with other subjects is another major challenge as it is interdisciplinary. It needs to take care of other subjects like health, physical education, art education. So, she has to maintain the balance between the, these subjects and the EVS learning. Process based and skill based learning is another challenge for the EVS because the content is not to be transacted directly in the classroom, but it has to be go hand in hand with the skills. Issues related to contextualization of the content is another big area where the teacher has to create so many example related to the child's need and child's context. The constructivist nature of textual material, the textbooks are written in that manner which are not providing content in a linear or the direct manner. Teacher needs to create so many challenges, needs to create so many situations to transact the text in a more interactive manner. Infused and inbuilt activities and assessment in the textual material. Another big challenge related to this EVS learning is the test, the activities and the assessment are not given at the end, but she has to take together in an inbuilt and an infused manner with the content she is projecting. The another challenge is the thematic nature of the content. The content which is given in the EVS test book is providing a theme for the child's learning. It is not the subject related content like content related to science or content related to social studies or maybe content related to environment education. Lack of preparedness of teachers is another weakest link for the EVS learning because most of the time these issues related to EVS are not addressed in the pre-service training program, not addressing issues in the in-service training program and also not providing scope for the hands-on activities in the classroom or field situation. What are major challenges in transacting EVS? Number one and challenge is related to the transacting EVS objectives, EVS objective in the classroom because we have seen the EVS objectives are very very comprehensive in terms of the process based learning, in terms of the constructivist approach of learning. So, issues related to learning about the environment, for the environment and through the environment is the topmost priority for the practitioner. How to translate these objectives in the classroom situation? Systemic issue is another big challenge for the EVS classroom because most of the time the logistic and other facilities are not available for the teacher to organize activities. Sometimes the inadequate resources are also there which impacting the transaction of EVS learning in the classroom. Mindset and the attitude of authorities and teachers. Sometimes teachers are not very very willing to change the way which they are doing the teaching learning in the classroom. So, the pedagogical shift which is the new dimension of EVS learning sometimes is not very very comfortable for the teacher to take up in the classroom. Time management is another issue for the EVS learning because all the EVS learning is based on the activities which may be of variety in nature 
maybe the discussion is a kind of activity maybe experimentation is a activity so it needs lot of time management for the teachers and the process based learning is another area of concern for the teachers how to take the skills in the classroom so that the content as well as the processes could be comfortably developed among the children now the another pedagogical shift and the nature of the evs is the curriculum of evs if you can see the evs curriculum it is not in a way which is given in a direct manner but it's kind of constructivist approach based curriculum which gives the format in first column we have the theme what is the theme of evs learning and followed by the key questions key questions are the area which a practitioner as well as the planner need to understand how to unfold the content in the classroom the key issues and the concepts are in another third column address which gives the age appropriate issues concerns for class 3 class 4 and class 5 in the last fourth and fifth column the suggested resources and suggested activities are also given and these are totally the suggestive in nature teacher needs to develop their own activities because it's a suggestive kind of activities now understanding on test book and curricular transaction we have seen the objectives concerns we have seen the syllabi nature now the third dimension third concern related to the how to transact the evs test books in the classroom number 1 if you can see the test book which is giving a variety of lessons the lessons are of various kind like stories approach narratives news clippings comic strips so the biggest challenge for the teacher is why this approach what are these formats of the lessons and how to transact these lessons in the classroom activities and questions are integrated with the text rather than keeping at the end the rationale the teacher must understand why the activities are inbuilt in the text what are the issues related to integrating the assessment with the text if the teacher is very clear how to take these things together that will fulfill the expectations for learning so this is the second challenge for the teacher use of wide range of teaching learning methodologies and strategies to cater need of all children because we know the evs classrooms are multi level children are having different pace of learning so teacher needs to select variety of strategies to needs of the children dealing with social and gender issues is another dimension because gender stereotyping and social issues are many a time not addressed in the classroom understanding on beyond classroom and beyond test book learning this is a another important area and most of the time it is a neglected area in the evs classroom because parents are a biggest learning resource for the teachers as well as for the children's improving the learning linking child's life experiences with classroom experiences that is another area in which teacher has to be very very clear how to use the children's experiences in the classroom because no child is a 
clean slate they have the background uh, related to the immediate environment they have the background of information related to family so teacher must be very clear how to utilize those experiences in involving parents and elders with learning process teachers how the many a times the many meetings and the ptm are organized in the schools and how to use the parents maybe in the uh, learning of the children as well as in the reporting purpose dealing with science social science and environmental issues holistically these issues are many a times taken in isolation how to integrate social issues with the environmental issues and environmental issues with the natural environment so that the picture of the evs learning is presented in a infused and integrated manner rather than providing a piecemeal information of science social science and environmental education dealing integration of concepts and issues to follow interdisciplinary approach is another issue dealing constructivist approach in the classroom it means how to organize the discussion discussion many a times is taken by the practitioner in the classroom to sake of organize activities but discussion should be taken in which the sharing of children sharing of experiences and the dialogue between or among the children should be presented in terms of the uh, scaffolding of learning how to create situation for social interaction the social interaction does not mean the talking to each other social interaction has bigger connotation which includes the experiences of children having related to the, their background related to their life experiences how to develop the critical thinking critical thinking is that area which takes care of the different dimensions of multiple intelligence it's a area which needs to be taken lot of time for the teacher to take this ability among the children through various phases through not only it will be developed in the class 3 but it should be inculcated through different kind of activities in the classroom how to handle the multiple learning or multi level approach of the classroom because our classrooms are the not mono level but they are the multi level so how to create the heterogeneous group in the classroom linkage between pre service and in service training program as we have already discussed that this is the weakest link of the uh, education sector in which the pre service is not meeting out the need of the in service and in service is not meeting out the need of the pre service it's a vice versa there so this area is the biggest concern for the teachers the reviewing and updating process of training program the training program process which followed by the institution is also not taken care of the need of the teachers process of need assessment of teachers the need assessment of teachers many a time is taken in a very casual manner and it should be taken need of all kind of teachers it may be the fresh teachers it may be the experienced teachers it may be transacting different subjects one teacher model so it should be taken in a very very serious manner issues related to professional growth of teachers the connotation of professional growth of the teacher is not just attending the training programs but the professional growth of the teacher means involving teachers in different professional activities like planning the program 
like development of the material of the for the children development of the training material for the teachers likewise this will give the opportunity for the teachers to develop the their professional growth systemic issues in organizing training program is another area which needs lot of attention role of the practitioners in evs classroom i think first and for most important thing is every teacher must keep oneself as the learner because they are learning while interacting with the children they are learning while using the material and therefore if the teacher act as a learner that will a biggest biggest improvement of evs learning in the classroom learn from own and other experiences because if we have the more opportunity for sharing of experiences the quality of learning will be much much better change the mindset of teacher most of the time we are using the approach that i know everything so if we will remove this mindset that will help a lot for the teachers updating subject knowledge subject knowledge because we know we are in the technology era and the knowledge kind of nature of the subject and the explosion of the knowledge is going on much much in a broader way so teacher must update knowledge timely self assessment teachers self assessment is a biggest area to improve the evs learning because if they improve their methodologies they will improve the strategies they will update it the knowledge that will help a lot and also if she assesses herself what is the expectations to meet out the objectives of evs learning learn to accept the gap areas and weaknesses if she knows what are my weak areas and how to improve that area is also helps teacher to improve the learning and the last thing is the mutual learning is the strength of every teachers what other teachers are doing in the classroom and if she take into cognizance of that part that help a lot to the teacher if we can conclude the the session we can say if you have given an opportunity to improve the evs learning what efforts you would like to do being a practitioner being a curriculum developer being a administrator being a planner and being a learner so finally we can say that evs learning for the practitioners teaching primary classes first and for most important thing to understand the objectives how to translate the objectives in the classrooms and the second big challenge for the teacher is understanding the evs curriculum curriculum is not just reading the text given in the curriculum how to relate the themes across the classes how to relate the theme within the classes and the third important thing is how to translate the test book in the classroom situation when the text is constructivist kind in nature where the activities are infused with the text where the assessment is infused in the text because the evs learning promotes formative assessment as a part of the teaching learning process if the timely we can identify the learning gaps of children the learning quality will be much much better and in the last we can say the evs learning is not going on within the classroom it is many fold going on beyond the classroom because evs learning is related to totally with the child's environment thank you very much